Dear colleagues, I want to tell you thank you for each of you who are giving a speech now about Holodomor. I'm going to say thank you for the rapporteur, for the current chair who are presenting these. So many years Ukrainians were waiting until Holodomor would be recognized as genocide. You know, at that time, times in the 30s, during the Stalin times, it was such a dramatic time. My grand grandmother used to be telling to my mother that during the Holodomor, she would go to her work, seeing some people on the street waiting for something, and in a few hours later, when she would be going back, these people would be already dead, lying on the street, because they didn't have food. And I want to ask, actually, here one question. Why the world was silent about that? Was no, was at that time there was no information that there was a, a famine, or what was actually happening? The fact was that there were reports, and there were countries, there were uh, embassies that were present now, uh, in Ukraine from different countries that were reporting to their capitals. But what was happening according to the archives? For instance, there was Italian diplomats who were uh, reporting to the Italy at that time. But at the time, we, there was Mussolini in Italy. So Italian authorities actually said, we're not going to talk about that. The same was happening in Germany. There were reports coming to Germany. Was the United States vocal about that? Unfortunately, no. And there was one journalist that you may be aware of, a British journalist, uh, his name is Gareth Jones, who traveled to Ukraine and he reported that there was a real famine and he was, when he was traveling, the people were screaming and saying, please say it to all the world, we don't have bread. What happened to him? He was killed after some years by, there are different versions, but NKVD probably killed him. So that was the moment when actually the, the truth that was so uncomfortable for so many countries, but there was no will to recognize this truth. And I'm calling this assembly that we talk about such things for the historical truth that is so important. You know, in Ukraine, you still have many families that will be telling to their children, please, don't leave your food. Always finish the food on your plate. The same would be happening with a piece of bread. If you have a piece of bread and you didn't finish eating it, never throw it to the trash bin. For us, this is something that is very deep in our uh, genetical DNA. And everything that is connected to the grain and to the uh, bread is very important. I'm asking this assembly, please, let's make sure that such terrible disinformation or, or silence about certain truths in history are not silenced, silenced for years. We're working on it, and never again. Thank you.